Hi everyone, this is Lin Fei, a PhD student from ETH Zurich. Today I will introduce to you our work Global Structure from Motion Revisited, also called GLOMAP. Structure from Motion addresses the problem of estimating 3D structures and camera positions from a collection of images. Broadly speaking, SFM methods are categorized into two types, incremental method and global method. The most widely deployed method by far fall under incremental method. After feature extraction and matching, this method proceeds by adding images incrementally with interleaved bundle adjustment. This process, however, leads to rapidly increasing computational complexity. Although these methods are generally robust, they are often inefficient. On the other hand, global structure from motion methods process images in a single pass. This method typically require only final triangulation and bundle adjustments, making them significantly more efficient than their incremental counterparts. However, as the camera poses are by far estimated from the relative pose, global methods tend to be less robust. GLOMAP shares more similarity with a global method. The objective of GLOMAP is to come up with a system that inherits the efficiency of global methods while overcoming the robustness challenges. Prior to our work, there have already been many other existing structure from motion frameworks. For example, OpenSFM and COMAP are two popular examples of incremental methods. Global methods include OpenMVG and Taya, etc. Recently, some learned frameworks have been proposed, such as VGGSFM and Master. An overview of our pipeline is as follows. Given a set of input images, we first conduct a correspondence search. Then, we perform global estimation to obtain the output reconstruction. More concretely, we begin by extracting features using descriptor-based methods, such as SIFT and SuperPoint. Matches are established based on the extracted features. Next, we estimate two view geometries, including fundamental matrix, essential matrix, and homography for every pair to filter out geometrically invisible matches. When camera intrinsics are unavailable, we estimate focal lengths using the view graph of the decomposed fundamental matrices. Essential matrices are re-estimated with optimized focal lengths, and relative poses are decomposed from them. This concludes the correspondence search stage. In the global estimation step, we focus on estimating camera poses and 3D points from the processed input. To estimate camera rotation, we perform rotation averaging enforcing the consistency between global and local estimations. After fixing the rotation, we jointly estimate the positions of cameras and 3D points, a step we refer to as global positioning. This step is crucial for enhancing the robustness of our method. Starting from random positions, the optimization process can converge to a valid reconstruction within a few iterations. We employ the butter loss in the optimization, which has two key properties. First, it is bilinear, allowing the optimization to converge effectively, even starting from random initial values. Second, when the i, k are at their optimal value, each error will be within the range of 0 to 1, preventing outliers from significantly biasing the result. Compared to the previous global methods, including all camera point correspondences, increases the number of constraints thus reducing the variance in the estimation. Furthermore, relative translations are generally less accurate than image rates, especially when camera intrinsics are not accurate. The problem can also become degenerate when cameras are subject to collinear motions. Afterward, rounds of bundle adjustments are performed to improve the accuracy of the estimation. To show the effectiveness of GLOMAP, we conduct experiments on both calibrated and uncalibrated datasets. They also contain both structured and unstructured input. In summary, compared to other global methods, we achieve significantly more accurate results while being similarly efficient. And compared to the widely used software COMAP, GLOMAP demonstrates on par or superior performance while being orders of magnitude more efficient. Detailed experiment results are as follows. For calibrated datasets, we achieve the highest accuracy across four or four datasets. Notably, for the large-scale Lamar dataset, we achieve over 15 more points in the recall at 1 meter while being about 30 times faster than COMAP. The trend also extends to uncalibrated datasets. 
will obtain similar accurate results on IMC 2023 and MIP 360 datasets while being several times faster than COMAP. You can find more qualitative results here. To benefit the community, we have open-sourced the method, and the code can be found via this link. Also, for ease of use, the data structure follows the design of COMAP and can serve as a drop-in replacement for COMAP. Thanks for your listening.